We are in week three. We're starting week three of football. We- week three of football. Yeah. And our fantasy football team is one and one. Heartbreaking, Yay. heartbreaking loss and and uh, Monday night football. When you play in a di- when you play in multiple leagues, it makes it difficult because you're like, ah, yes, I have that guy. He got a touchdown. Oh, that touchdown beat us in our dumb dad's league. Mm. Mm. That's a tough pill to swallow. Tough pill to swallow. But you know what? What? That's okay because Bet Online is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything football. Yes, Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. During the games. During entertainment. During entertainment. Yeah. Oh, this What's is, better than that? This exciting sport is too not enough. That's right. And if you think you know your stuff, mm-hmm. if you think you really know your stuff, you can get in on our two hundred thousand dollar mega contest wow. and pick. Five games against the spread every week for your chance to win weekly prizes and a share of two hundred thousand dollars. I would like that, please. Yes. That well, you got to nice. do it. You got to do it. You got to do the mega contest. You guys are gonna have to do it. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino and get in on a game of blackjack or poker or unwind with one of our over one hundred and fifty slot games. Head on over to the website today and get in on the action because bet online. The game starts here. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for listening to the Dumb Dad Podcast. My name is Kevin, and I'm a dumb dad. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening. My name is Evan, and I'm a dumb dad. And on today's podcast, Kevin will remind us why it's so important to make a plan for your children, but then also follow through with the plan. Yeah. And and in this podcast, Evan has trouble organizing his time. Oh, Mm. I sure do. Before we go into anything, though, we just want to remind you guys, we have a live show. If you live in Los Angeles, we are going to be at Dynasty Typewriter on October 2nd at 7.30 p.m. There's a link uh, in the show notes on how to get tickets. There's links in our bio on our social media. Uh, please come on out, guys. We're super excited to do this show. It's going to be awesome. Come join us. It's going to be a fun night. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, bud. Back in action. I cannot wait. To hear your recollection of the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I had a pretty exciting weekend. If you guys follow us on socials, I made one story because I didn't really... Well, I made one story and one post because sure. I couldn't really muster much else. <laughs> you were mustering other things. Mustard uh, yeah. out of my mouth. We got norovirus in the house. It was so fun. I think one of the best <laughs> things about being a family is you share. I think sharing is important. Sharing is caring, as they say. It's lovely. Yep. Um, yeah, it was a brutal evening. It was a brutal. It was a brutal twenty-four hours. Who was the first uh, culprit? My son was the first. The little one probably got it at school or mm-hmm. at the Y. Who cares? Doesn't matter. Point is, we got it, and uh, yeah, and it is rapid, rapid movement through the house, as they say. Yeah, it's like twelve. 12 to 24, some people say 48 hours of you're in trouble. Of Ralphing? Uh, uh, no, of like, uh, from like, you get it to you're good, you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Before you accept it and then participate in the act. Yeah. 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 My son, yeah. you know, woke up barfing and then. It was just, it's just one of those moments as a parent where you're just like, yeah, sure, I'm probably going to get it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like, because I've got to yeah. help you, obviously, mm-hmm. and I'm happy to. Good luck. There's the bathroom. <laughs> Five year old. So yeah, he was. Deal with it. He well, he barked all over our bed the first time. Which uh, is fine. You're just, you're just doing laundry, and then you're just doing laundry for f- 48 hours straight. Yeah. It's just a constant like yeah. something's being washed, something's being dry. You take it out, you go, huh? You know what blew my mind? We have like a white. Uh, comforter, but Used like duvet, be. duvet cover. <laughs> then he barfed on it, and then we immediately, you know, one of them, you know, one of us. I think my wife took him to the bathroom, to take sure. care of him, yeah. and I'm like stripping the bed, I'm taking the duvet cover off, <sighs> treating it, putting it in the laundry, immediately turning it on hot, hot, you know, soak, yeah, all that stuff, yeah, with all the other sheets and stuff, yeah, and it comes out and it's like stained, yeah, and you're like. What? I was on top of it. I was all over it. So you're not puking Sharpies. What's going on here? <laughs> Do you uh, put stain remover on it? 
Yeah. Or you just wash it. Yeah, I did fix it because because it's a white duvet cover. Uh, then my daughter later uh, got sick. The next night, none of us had had it yet. And I was being very diligent. I was washing my hands and all that stuff. But it was just like I was right there. So I wasn't like super optimistic. Yeah, it's not so much on the hands as breathing in the breaths. Uh, it's touch. It can be in the air, but it's all, it's mainly touch. I did really? a lot of reading this weekend. When between a lot of reading to figure out tears. My when eyes. are you going to get it? That's what you're trying to. I figure knew out. I was going to get it. <laughs> you know, when your kids when get gonna... sick, you're just like it's not necessarily Like I know some people, like your kids got COVID and you guys didn't, or vice versa. You guys, you guys got COVID, vice versa, and then, and, then, and then they got it from school. Yeah, yeah. School it's just yeah. <laughs> nice reminder. Just give it to them. Magical. Um, yeah, that's Doctor Kevin's advice. Your hey, kids have chicken pox. Bring them over. They're all going to give each other big hugs. Everybody's going to <laughs> high five it. <laughs> But you do the thing where, like, your kids start having something like that, and then you're like, every time you, like, burp or gurgle or, like, something, you just, like, take a bite of something and swallow it. Oh, I kind of swallowed that funny. Is that – like, you're on high alert. Yeah. Am I next? Is it coming – is it coming out of me next? I hate that feeling. Yeah. I was washing my hands. I was being pretty diligent. Yeah. And then I was like, but I'm, I'm probably going to get it. My daughter woke up and, uh, like – we well, not in the middle of the night. She'd gone to bed and then woke up before we had gone to bed and barfed everywhere, um, <laughs> which was very funny. And then, um, <sighs> and then I cleaned it up. And then two hours later, I was barfing. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was cool. It was fun. That was a fun, it's tough, uh, intimate. It's an intimate weekend. It's an intimate weekend. <laughs> My, I mean. <sighs> I haven't had the neurovice in a long time. Yeah. I will say I've forgotten what it feels like in terms of like you are kind of just whatever while you have it. You're not great. You're not bad. It's whatever. Like I had a low grade fever for most of it. And then well, it was a fever. And then, uh, and then you start to feel really terrible. And mm -hmm. then you're like, man, I can't wait to throw up. Yeah. You feel so bad. You're like, I want to barf. But then when you do, that feels awful. Yeah. <laughs> to do. Awful. I, which I was not expecting. I thought it would be like, you know, not great, but like. More of a relief. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but then when it was over, you're like, okay, that's. Not when you're pushing 40. That's the best. And all these little muscles you don't use are like straining themselves. <laughs> so I was so very sore two days later. That's the worst part when you get older and you're throwing up. It's like. What, I pulled a muscle in, a muscle in my neck throwing up? Mm -hmm. My muscle, my shoulder, my, I think my elbow, like I, everything was just like, what happened? When it comes to stuff like this, it is like the the sort of reminder to me that the youth have it all and they just don't know it. That is the hardest part about life. And you can't tell them they have it. They don't know. They don't they know. They all told us. They don't know. Yeah, they, all, they don't know. You don't know until you don't have it anymore. And that is the cruelest thing about life. Which the is youth why. Have it, the youth have it all. They have all of it. They have everything. Okay. And they don't know it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. It's so cruel. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You know what, though? I will say <laughs> to all us parents out there who have similar to Evan's attitude, <laughs> don't be sticks in the mud about it. No, 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 no. No, I know you're not. I'm just saying I saw you reminded I, me. I agree with you. I agree with I you. I saw a post on like. Facebook today. I was on Facebook because I manage our accounts on there. If anybody's, don't call me old. Um, <laughs> I was on Facebook today uh, and I saw like someone uh, had posted just like a meme of something like, I don't remember what it was, but it was just well, low. Yeah, because it, you're old. It was low hanging fruit of like, you know, nobody needed to tell us not to eat Tide Pods because we weren't idiots. And it was just something like that that I was just like, you would have eaten it. But also like, we didn't have one. <laughs> you guys did a lot of stupid stuff. You guys like started. Yeah. You, you guys smoked on airplanes. <laughs> I know. Let's not pretend we're so holier than thou. Now at this point was like, yeah. Guess what? Well, yeah. in your laundry room, you didn't have laundry detergent things that look like gushers. Yeah. But <laughs> even more importantly than that, though, it's and just Mr. Yuck stickers. It's not even that. It's also just that like. Stick in the mud kind of attitude yeah, yeah, yeah. of just like, you know, they'll say that to you, yeah, and be like, you know, you know, nobody needed to tell us we needed to put tie pods because uh, we weren't morons. You just want to stare at them and go, you feel better now, yeah. Also, you let me out. have a conversation with your mom. Can I talk to her for a second? <laughs> I bet you she's got some stories about the stupid things you did. 
no matter what age you are, because you all do well, it doesn't matter. Kids. It doesn't matter. I'm so I'm no, saying it does like, matter because their mom might have passed, especially if they're old. I mean, higher. Well, then that's a harsh reminder. Can I talk to your mom? She's Wait. dead. Okay. Well, did she type on? Is it your fault? Because you're <laughs> dumb. Oh my god, I've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, stranger. <laughs> No, but it's true. No, I know. I'm not. I. Uh, I know. And I know. Not. I know. You're. I know. You're saying. But like that. It, that. But that is one of the cruel things about life is that like the youth have it all and they yeah. don't know it, and then you appreciate it once you lose it. I mean, it's like it's the truth of it. And Mine I was tr- barfing and hurting my neck. <laughs> yeah, barfing and hurting your neck. And <sighs> you know, I mean, you can apply it to so many things about your life. And but I also choose to more often than not use that as a reminder to. Here's the thing. Can we get deep for like ninety seconds? Sure. 90 seconds. Am I not allowed okay? to make a joke? Yeah. Okay. You, know, you can make a joke. Of course you can make a joke. This is what we're about here. I'll hold it. <sighs> but, like, uh, when you're in the good times, you don't necessarily know it. It's hard to realize it when things are good. You're in the moment. It's hard to realize when you're 20 and you're going out with your friends and you got your job but you like look forward to the Friday nights with your buds or whatever. And it's just like, there's a period of your life where things are just great. You don't have so many worries and you just, you know what I'm saying? And then it's when you're 36 and you're like, man, that was fun. And I didn't really realize Uh that it was going to go away or when it went away. It just all of a sudden became something we used to do. And you reminisce on those things. And I try my best to recognize when I'm feeling like that now mm-hmm. that like, well, let's capture this moment for a minute here. I'm going to appreciate yeah. where I am right now because sooner than later, we will talk about how we used to sit and talk and had the time and, yeah. and, and did our podcast and every week and like we laughed and, you know, yeah. someday for some reason... It might or could go away. I mean, obviously, sure. we're going to be doing this until we're 60. Let's be honest. Yeah, but, we, don't, we don't really have a backup plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what I mean? I mean, like, I try my best to, to once in a while remind myself that, like, you are in one of those good times now. Things are good. Your kids are young. They're fun. You can run around with them. Yeah. These things, like, try to recognize that now and appreciate it now because it will go away again. And there will be a new phase but, that you can appreciate. That's the thing. You can always appreciate the time you're in. But the, but the time you're in now that you will reminisce upon. Yeah will go away. And so sometimes I just feel like it's important to like, think about it. Just think about it right now. Appreciate it right now. Sure. I know what you mean. And I know what you're saying. I do think most people do though. Right. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm (laughs) sure there's sometimes you're not going to appreciate things, moments with your kids. And I also think that's fine too. Like, uh, sure. I don't think like, I don't think you should go apple picking and be on your phone the whole time. But like, I think for the most part, if you were to go apple picking, you can have fun with your kids. You're going to enjoy those moments. Sure. But you were quoting uh, Andy Bernard. Was I really? Bring it up. The weird thing is, now I'm exactly where I want to be. I got my dream job at Cornell. And I'm still just thinking about my old pals. Only now they're the ones I made here. I wish there was a way to know this is what what you said before you've actually left them. Damn. That's good. Yeah. You, 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 that you thought of that right away when I was saying that that's a good pull. You, you kind of started to say it exactly that way. That's, yeah. why, I, that's why I smirked when you started to say it. I was yeah. like, is he going to quote Andy Bernard? <laughs> no, I had to, that was not where that came from, yeah. but that's, that's eloquently written by whoever wrote that line. Yeah. Uh, Andy Bernard from The Office. Um, Ed Helms. Ed Helms. Uh, thank you. Um, great banjo player. Great banjo I player. I met him at yeah. Delta I mean, Grill. he's no Steve Martin, but... Uh, <laughs> Maybe he is. I don't know. He might be. <laughs> they should have a duel. Yeah. They should have a duel. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's eloquently uh, said and or written this is uh, a in that show. But like incredible walk from me throwing up my neck barfing. I just want to say. <laughs> this is a wild that's what we do walk here. that we That's what done. we do here. That's what we do here. Before we jump into our dad, dumb, dumb dad moments, I wanted to quickly uh, tell a story that I think was really fun to tell that involves my son. One of our friends had a birthday party at the beach. You guys weren't able to make it. I know uh-huh. because we I thought we, we, we thought we were going to go. You guys had a scheduling thing. Yeah. And then so we, we all met up at the beach, a bunch of our friends. Um, and uh, 
fun afternoon. You know, they're playing volleyball and hanging out with buds and everything. And, and our kids came and my wife and my son um, were like doing a little, like a little body surfing, having a good time out in the water. And uh, I was kind of like back and forth with my daughter a little bit, who's, you know, smaller. So she wasn't like, she was not, she's not about going out into like three foot, you know, deep or whatever. She's sure. like, she's still at the age where she's like, you know, letting it come up to her knees and then running away from the water or anything. So sure. I'm hanging out with her. And my wife and my son are kind of doing a little bit of body surfing and they go out deeper and deeper. And it's like waist tight for my son, let's say. Yeah. And, you know, all kinds of stuff. You're like stepping on stuff. And he's like, oh, I found, and he would like reach down and grab something and it's like a broken shell and just like little stuff that was like churning yeah. around in the in the ocean. And um, then they're waiting for another wave and he tells her, I, f- I feel something on my foot again. And he le- he reaches down. And he basically almost had to go all the way under the water to get what he was under his foot. But he said it felt so weird that he wanted to grab it. He comes up out of the water and he's got an Apple watch in his hand. Mm -hmm. Sweet. In the ocean. Great find. Great find. Nice pull. Yeah. And um, he's like, oh my God. He's like, you know, his little mind is like, whoa, look what I found. And so he like shoves it in his pocket, you know, and they basically like run up to where we're all. I think this at this point I was like sitting with my daughter now back at the, you know, at the party, like up, yeah. up at the beach, away from the water. And he comes up and he's like, Dad, look what I found. I, I found this in the water. And he shows me, it's like this Apple Watch. And it's like in decent shape. I mean, it was like, you know, it had like the face had like some scratches on it, basically. Yeah. But I was like, whoa. Of course, you try to turn it on. doesn't turn on. You know, he's yeah. like, okay, well, I don't know. We'll take it home and see if we can clean it up or something, you know? Yeah. So we come home the next, we come home that night. I just throw it on the charger and like in like less than 10 minutes, it actually like it gets to screen, which is like emergence. Like I need power now. I'm at such low power, yeah. like plug me in. So it's like, OK, well, let's leave it. See if it goes from there. Half an hour later or so. Now it's like charging. It's got a face on it again yeah, and stuff. And so while it's on the charger, I'm like touching it and everything. It's not locked in the sense that it needs a password. Oh, nice. So I could turn it on and like touch a couple of buttons. The face works. I'm like, well, this is crazy. Yeah. So my son and I are kind of messing with it. And I, I mean, I have an Apple watch, so I'm, you know, I'm, and I know how to work it enough to where I'm like, is there a way for me to figure out whose this is? Yeah. And my son, to his credit, never once said, he's nine. He never once said, can I have this? Yeah. Um, if this works, can I keep it? He never said anything like that. He yeah. said, with, basically, what when I started messing with like the contact, he said, what are you doing? I was like, I'm seeing if I can figure out if this is somebody. He's like, wouldn't that be crazy if we can give it back to them? Like, first, yeah. first so credit to him, first mindset he had, right, was like, we got to find whoever this is. Yeah. So I go into the contacts section, like part of the watch, and there's like up in the right-hand corner, if you go to like the contact section of your watch, is like a little like initials above all the contacts list that I can scroll through. Yeah. So I touch that, I see a name that's basically the V card of like who owns the watch. Yeah. And I confirm that by going on my watch, I go to the same part of the watch, my initials are there, it is my V card of my watch. I'm like, yeah. this might be our answer. Yeah. So it's like the person's name, their email, their phone number. So I text them, hey, my name's Evan. I was down at Santa Monica today at a beach at a party. Did you by any chance lose an Apple Watch? And like two hours later, they respond, I did lose an Apple Watch down in Santa Monica. This is wild. And I was like, "We, my son found it today. And so we text back and forth a little bit. Yeah. And the guy's like, okay, well, I live in Santa Monica. Can we meet up? And like schedule it gets crazy kids are in school and everything and like it kind of took like until the next weekend to where i was like because i also told him like to be honest with you i'm going to get it back to you this is 100 percent like our goal my son wants to be a part of giving it back to you my son found it and he's like yeah. great i would love that thank you so much so we basically coordinate throughout the week a little bit like when we can meet so yeah. the next weekend we meet down at like a like a public park yeah and he's like i'll be there I'm, you know whatever and um He's like, you know what's crazy? I lost that watch two weeks ago. That's crazy. So it was in the ocean, just churning around the waves for two weeks in the ocean. And it turned, not only did it turn on and I'm contacting this guy, but a couple of times I tested it and like, I would take it off the charger and it would like hold, it wasn't like took it off the charger and it's like dies. Yeah. I took it off the charger. It was holding its battery for like a few hours. 
Yeah. So I just made sure like, okay, so we'll give it to, back to him 100% charged. Yeah. So we gave it back to the, so we bit, go down there, meet the guy, super nice guy, probably like, I don't know, I'm just going to guess like maybe late 20s, early 30s. Yeah. Brought his girlfriend there. He was so nice. And my son was like beaming. Yeah. That, like the idea that we're going to like give this back to this guy. Yeah. Right. So we meet the guy. We end up chatting with him for like 10 minutes or so. Just like, you know, a little bit about it. He was like, I cannot tell you how much this means to me. This is a birthday gift like a year ago for me. Yeah. And I appreciate this so much. And he hands my son a little envelope. It was a card. And so, so we just, he just says, thank you. And he like holds it. And so we're like, you know, just pleasantries and like chat yeah. a little bit about it. He was like, I was, I was, we were like, we were body surfing. He goes, that's what I was doing. I was body surfing with my dad and we caught a good wave and I came up and we were both like high fived each other. Having, and I looked at my wrist and my watch was gone. I mean, we looked for it for 10 minutes or so. And of course it's like, it's in the ocean. It was like, it's gone. As he was, I, I was sure like, well, there, that's it. You know, I'm not, there's no way. Yeah. You know? And he's like, I put it, I pinged it. Like, so if it ever gets attached to Wi-Fi, it might, maybe it would like set off a thing or whatever. But like probably before that could even happen, I had figured out how to contact the guy and I contacted him and shook his hand. Super nice guy. We go over to the park and my son opens the card and it was like a nicely written card. It was like, thank you for so much for bringing this back to me. This means so yeah. much that somebody would even like not only find it, but then the idea of returning it to me means so much. And it was a hundred dollar bill in there. That's cool. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. For my son. So he's got it in his wallet and he gets a hundred bucks. He's going to like, doesn't have any idea what he wants to spend it on or whatever. But it was like, that's yours, my guy, that you, yeah. you found it. You did the right thing. We figured out who it was. We brought it to them. And it was like such a cool story that he yeah. not only found it, but was like, what, wouldn't it be crazy if we can give it back to somebody? And yeah. he was just like so jazzed about it. That's cool. And it was like, man, that, I mean, that's like a straight up Apple commercial. <laughs> like, <that's laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I mean, the thing that blew my mind was two weeks, two weeks in the yeah. ocean, just churning and churning and churning and churning yeah, in the insane. ocean. And it was like turned on no problem. <laughs> it's like, that's wild. That's impressive. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So anyway, I just thought it was fun to share that because it was like Good a fun him. moment for, yeah, fun yeah. moment for my son. And then to get to experience like, I mean, the, 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 the joy on the guy's face at like this thing that like clearly meant something to him. I mean, yeah. they're not, they're not cheap watches, obviously. Yeah, so like sure. a, a birthday gift, you're thinking like, well, that's just gone. If I want to replace that, that's like a few hundred bucks. I got to, yeah. you know, at least yeah. depending on which exact model it is or whatever to like replace it. And so he's thinking like, well, that's. That's the end of that, you know, like, and then, yeah. so to be able to bring out was, um, uh, was pretty cool. Smart kid moment. Smart kid moment. Good job. Good Which job leads moment. us <laughs> to your moment. <laughs> to dumb dad moments. Dumb dad moment. I have one this week. Do you have one that you, uh. Yeah, I mean, I barfed. Uh, that was stupid. Stupid <laughs> that I got sick. Stupid that I helped him. If I hadn't helped him, I wouldn't have gotten sick. Stupid. You see your son barf. You leave the house, come back five days later. You're great. I will say. Your marriage might be in trouble, but you're fine. I'd have felt good, though. Like I felt great. Physically. <laughs> physically, yeah. The emotional toll great. might have been a little bit. You might have you might actually might have chosen barfing. Um, no, my dumb dad moment is uh, brought to you by plans versus executions. Okay. We'll say. Um, okay. So and Those are vastly different things depending on... The yeah. result of the plan sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, we're back in school. We've been back for a month-ish. Um, I don't know, man. We've missed a lot of school. <laughs> um, we have. And so, like, we're back to school. So we're back in, like, new habits. My son's do, starting homework. And everybody knows my opinions on homework. I don't like it. But I don't mind my son doing My son doing homework versus my daughter doing homework in kindergarten is vastly different. When she was doing homework, she... It was like the first year of everyone going in person after COVID. She yeah. started kindergarten. And I don't know what that has to do with anything. Maybe it was just a teacher. <laughs> well, I think the reason why I had to do something is because they were the year before they were virtual. So kids got like tablets and laptops. Yeah. And I, I interject here really quick I, because, you know, my experience was kindergarten and then into first, like kindergarten virtual into first grade. And I think with, Going back to my, my son's first grade teacher was like, they need so much emotional support that the homework is going to be, it is what it is, but that's like, do what you can with it. 
we're, we've we got to get these kids back on track. But like so much of it was emotional support for the kids. Like they had no year of like getting to know other kids, working with other kids. Like that's the most important thing that was lost on. Right. We didn't have that. We, we were in that, yeah. person. Right. So I'm just saying she got a tablet, which she hasn't had since. Um, like she had to have a tablet. Right. So she was getting like two sheets of homework and three assignments on the tablet. Sure. In kindergarten every day. It was five essential, think of it, the five pages of homework. Yeah. My son now, cut to four years later, uh, is <laughs> is uh, in kindergarten uh, and he's getting just like, there's a picture of three apples. How many do you see? And he's just like, oh, I got this. <laughs> yeah. So he loves homework. So it's like, whatever. Anyway, they have homework. Do they do the thing where she's frustrated? He's like, his homework is so easy. He doesn't have to do it very long. We get not, that once in a while. It's we're like, not there yet. Yeah, he's. I think she three has a, years younger than you. <laughs> I, I don't think it's we like, <laughs> turned up the heat yet on homework. Yeah, uh, in her grade. Yeah, her homework is still pretty easy. She okay. breezes through it pretty easy. Okay, so she's not jealous yet. She will. She'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, It'll happen. Yeah. So, but they come home. They do her homework. It's been like we were preparing for that because he didn't start homework right away. And okay. We were told they were going to start homework this week. Right. So. I've had this idea that I've seen on on social media that I've been wanting to do for a while and I just haven't been doing haven't been doing it and thank God my wife has heard me talking about doing it so she ordered me like a strip of magnet magnets with like sticky on one side mm-hmm. and you just cut off whatever you need once she got that I was like all right I'm gonna do it <laughs> so um over the weekend <laughs> after we were done puking so maybe it was Monday yeah um I think it was Monday when the kids weren't in school because we held them out because they were like all fine. But I was like, let's just take a day. You guys are like physically wrecked, you know? Sure. And uh, so I, you know, you take a sheet of paper, like cardstock paper, and you cut it uh, like you would if you were like doing guitar lessons, you know, those little tabs <laughs> kind of thing. You know, you know what I'm talking about though, right? It's a very clear picture I painted. Yeah, you, it's a sheet of paper. You staple it to a, a telephone pole Staples at the, telephone at the pole. corner of the intersection. But this one, you use cardstock, and you rip it in the tabs, <laughs> and then you glue magnets on the bottom of the tab so that you can fold up the tab and put another magnet on the top of the tab. Okay. And on the inside, you have tasks for the day. And it's just like... Um, and you can, be, you can put whatever you want on there. So I did a, right. one for my daughter and one for my son, and it was like, you know morning brushing teeth, getting dressed. And then it was like, uh, um, clean up. It was like the second one. And then like homework is on there and then clean up again is on there because it's like, mm-hmm. you know, did you clean up? Uh, cause one of them will be like clean up, you know, you just have like wrappers from snacks that you've had, like sure stuff that my wife and I are just beheading so mad about. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, if just like, how many, you know, the, how many times do I have to tell you kind of thing? Yeah. 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 And a lot, a lot. The answer is a lot, a lot. And it's actually also the answer is more than you think it is. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll tell you that we have little tabs for everything. So they flip it up. So I had them write them all. I wrote my sons. Do you have a tab for flipping all your tabs. The finish. Uh, <laughs> so when they flip it, then they, it says like done, finish. I have my daughter write whatever she wants. Done, yeah. finish. She wrote like a different one for each one. Finished. Good job. Great. Way to go. Like. And yeah. then she would color them and uh, whatever she wanted. Sure. And then the big picture on the front of her, her checklist. And then his, it's like, she drew him a dinosaur and then he get to color it in. Yeah, as a dinosaur. I wrote, I mean, all, a dinosaur. I wrote all his and I drew pictures because like, he's just learning to read. So I drew pictures so that he could see like, oh, this one's a sun with brushing teeth. This is morning brushing teeth. And then there's like a, right. mo- a moon for night brushing teeth right. and <laughs> all this stuff. And they were super excited about it. And yeah, because it's new. Because it's new and they were coloring it. And yes. Yeah. It was just, it was great because then it's an easier way to remind them to do chores mm-hmm. of just like things they need to be doing. Instead of going, guys, can you pick up your wrappers? I'm going to be like, hey guys, can you, uh, you, you want to do your clean list? And they're like, mm-hmm. oh yeah. And then they go and they do a terrible job and they flip it up and I flip it down and I go, try again. And then oh, they go, oh, oh. <laughs> well, because like, you know, pouches, gummies, yeah. like their shoes. It's like, no, no, no. You flip this up when like all your stuff is put away. Yeah. Toy, like end of the yeah. night cleanup. That's the one where it's like toys, shoes, your backpacks hung up. You take the lunch box out. You take the lunch, like the lunch bag out, take the lunch box out, put it on the counter, like all of it. 
and the kids were super excited about it. And coloring it in, it was a nice little activity, something to do during the day. Mm-hmm. Felt good, felt accomplished. Yeah. And then I'm they were like, for I'm just waiting for Then this. they were like, so what happens when we do all these? Yeah. And I should have. You still get to live here. <laughs> like, that's the thing. If I had had that answer, at least it would have been an answer. Yeah. The problem was that I waffled on it. That's the dumb dad. Oh, moment. yeah. I didn't have a, you guys get a um, $5. Yeah. Which would be fine. You know, like, this is how you get your allowance. If sure, you yeah. complete this every day, I could also make another tab for each of them, a smaller one that's like Monday, you did it, Tuesday, you did it, flip it up, and it's like, oh, you missed Wednesday. Yeah. We'll try again next week. Could yeah. do something like that. But that's the thing. I didn't have a plan. I was just so excited to color. <laughs> <laughs> Let me... <laughs> and, and, tape, and tape on magnets that I didn't think through that they would ask the obvious question, do I get a reward for this? Which, understandably, like you just said, like I know you're making a joke, but it would be okay if the answer is nothing. Well, sometimes we got to pick up the slack in the house. We're a family. We're a group. We got to live together in this house. We got to help each other. Out. That's what I'm. That's that, an answer as well. I yeah. didn't have anything. I just went. <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. You didn't. I didn't watch the whole video. Yeah. It's on TikTok. I don't think they did anything in the video. I think it did. And the video was just kind of like this is a cool thing to get your kids to want to do. Yeah. To participate. Yeah. Cool. That video sucks because they didn't give you the full meal deal. So then they were kind of like going around and i think my wife was just kind of like how about for now you guys just like my wife is the one who like walked in the room later when they were like kind of like yeah skimming about it because then because now i was like overthinking it of like this good like you do allowances for your kids and i was like oh should i should this be the thing i do allowances or is it like no these are tasks you have to do like allowance can everybody's got a different method i don't think everybody's wrong but like sometimes allowances for something like all right, if you take out all the trash in the house, I'll, I'll give you an I'll That'll you. be a good thing for allowance. And then there's some things that's like, no, you don't get paid to do this. This is something you need to do because you live here and we're a family. That's what I was going to say. I'll give you I'll give you an example, which I totally agree with. There are certain things that we all do because we're a, we're a team, mm-hmm. right? A team succeeds because we all pull our own weight yeah. in some way. And you want to teach them that there are things that they can do that like... I don't leave my shoes in the middle of the living room, yeah. so you shouldn't either. We all agree that we don't do that. So if your shoes are in the middle of the, in the living room, go, please go put them in your room. That's yeah. not like a rewarded thing. Right. But my son, who is at the age now where he's like kind of interested in saving his money and buying things, and you know he wants something, it's like, yeah. you know, we're not made of money, so he's like, kids want a lot of stuff, you know? So there's the conversations are consistent enough where it's like, can I have this? Well, no, not today. Well, why? Well, because you don't just buy something every time we go to Target or whatever. Like, yeah. Do you have, but then we bring it up enough. Do you have some money? Do you have birthday money or did you bring your wallet? And those kinds of things is like, yeah. no, it's like a little bit of teasing. I'm like, well, did you bring your wallet? No. Okay. Well, you know, then you don't have any money. And it's like, yeah, get the idea of maybe thinking ahead when you leave the house. Like, I think I'm going to bring my wallet this time in case I see something I like, yeah. which is totally great. But then he's, he's at the age of where he's thinking like, mm, I think I, I wish I had more money. Yeah. So he asked my wife, is there, is there anything I can do to like make money? And we're like, yeah, there are some things you can do to make money. And so, yeah, there are, you got to kind of separate them. I think yeah. there are things you teach them that they can do or, and should be doing yeah. because you pull your own weight and you know, there's, it, that's part of the being a part of the family. Yeah. One of his things we offered him is whenever the garbage needs taking out, to the garbage bin or the recycling needs taken out to the recycling bin, we can say, can you please do this? And whatever he's doing, he can pause doing that yeah, and then go take care of that for us. Yeah. And like, that's one of the things he gets paid a per week a day. Yeah. I had like, uh, five a week or 10 a week. I think it's five, whatever. Like, but yeah. that's not, that's the only, that's not the, only. there's like three things. One is watering all the plants in the backyard mm-hmm. in the morning. If we ask him, can you go, please go water the plants? He goes, he goes out by himself, gets the hose out, turns it on, knows which plants to water, how much to water them. You know, we teach him how to do it, but yeah. it's like, there are certain things we tell him. Yeah. That, can you please go do this? He does it. If he doesn't do it, we're not going to give him the money. Yeah. And he understands those things. And it's like, and that's, I understand what you're saying. Like that's, you didn't have that answer. I didn't have that answer. Yeah. I have that answer now. And that's kind of where I have yeah. landed with it. Um, because my, my son does chores. I'm going to get my daughter. My, da- my daughter does chores. She feeds the dog and my son does the garbage. We don't pay him for it. Cause he loves doing the garbage. Um, <laughs> it's fun. Freebie. It's a fun thing to do. <laughs> He's young. 
They just like to be asked to do adult things. They like, I mean, curating even the idea of helping, yes, helping yeah. do things that are like kind of adult things. Like, oh, I didn't know I was allowed to do this. Like, of yeah. course you're allowed to do this. But yeah, that was my, uh, my dumb dad was waffling on that moment. Because it was just like, <laughs> so funny. Because yeah, objectively, <laughs> it's like, no, you gotta have, this is, we're family. No. Yeah. It's just like, oh, uh, I don't know. And then the conversation And that was it's worse it was like, that you don't have an answer. It's like, oh, geez, this guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy is just, how am I alive? How are there groceries in the fridge? <laughs> how how uh let me jump into my dumb dad moment it's a repeat it's a repeater it's a really pick up yeah no 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 not really pick up no i'm good there so far this year knock on wood um you do you didn't realize how screwed you are sorry for re- quick recap evans yeah. missed early pickup three times or two times i think twice twice is it only twice we're just gonna go with twice. And if you want to fact check the podcast, oh, go please. ahead and do that and Don't send us a message. Gmail. Um, <laughs> you've forgotten your kids twice, three times, um, at your old apartment where you lived close to the school. Yeah. How devastating will it be if you? It'll do be it? bad. It'll be bad. It'll be bad if it's like twenty minutes away and they're like, "Why aren't you at the gate?" Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're farther yeah then all of a sudden you're part of the after school, after school program and you weren't there was no plan to be yep. part of the after, yeah um no this this uh my dumb dad moment this week is brought to you by karma okay dude <laughs> okay that's a weird i don't little... even know if it's karma i'll tell you this so a couple weeks ago we discussed when i was like you know what let's get ready for school my daughter's desk and everything in her room, if you remember, was kind of a mess. And I was like, I'll take care of it. It it. took me like five days to like go through my daughter's room and like get rid of the birthday party pencil eraser collection and like cull it down to like, you need three of these. You don't need all this. The construction paper is in all over your room. And so I like you know, make little piles. Yeah. And so, and I, like I said, I admitted then I'm like, I'm so diligent about how I organize it all that that takes the longest amount of time. Cause I feel like as I need to like organize everything into its piles and where it goes, then I can curate it and go through it and then put it all back. It just takes me longer to do that. I'm diligent about it, but it takes me longer to do it as if I was thinking it was sure. going to happen in an hour and a half or an afternoon. It took me like four days. Should have taken an hour and a half. <laughs> Not if you're going to be diligent. <laughs> like, <laughs> sure. Uh, so about four days ago, <laughs> uh-huh. I started a project that I've been meaning to do for probably, I don't know, let's probably like it was probably like an ideal thing I would have loved to have done during the summer or something, uh-huh. which is, okay, a little bit of a backstory. Like I'll say this. I don't know if this is a problem or it, and it, I, it just admitting who I am. I... I I I love paying attention to what I wear, how I present myself. Sure. I like going shopping for clothes. Yeah. I like shopping for things. It doesn't deter me. I'm not the stereotypical husband that's like, I'm going to sit in the car while she goes. I love shopping. Yeah. I love like picking out new stuff. I'm a sucker for a good jacket, a perfect t-shirt, a good hooded sweatshirt, okay. those kinds of things. Okay. Which means over the course of probably the last 15 years or so. Not a pants guy, it sounds like. No. Mostly a top Not stuff. the last six months when it's been a thousand degrees outside. Yeah. No, I'm, I I actually, I, I over the last probably 10 or 15 years or so, have over time carefully curated what I think is like the wardrobe that I love that I have. Mm-hmm. Like the things that I have that I love. Sure. Less of, and this is no shade in any way, but less of things over time, like a quick buy from something like Old Navy or something like that, where it's probably only going to last you a season of washes or something like that before it takes on a whole different shape. Uh You know, more so younger days, 100%. This is cool. I'm going to buy this. Grab, smash grab. Like, this is the seasonal thing. That's me, but that's because I'm in what you would call younger days. 30s. 30s. (laughs) Nothing wrong with that at all. Sure. As I've gotten older, I lean more towards I'd rather spend more on something that I'm going to have for a long time. Yeah. Most of my wardrobe is like that now. Uh-huh. But I also have too much wardrobe. Gotcha. Where it's like, all right, probably could go through a lot of the logo tees yeah. that aren't aging well. Got to say goodbye to a few of them. Yeah. Just basically do an overall 
culling of the wardrobe to just pare it down to where I am now, what fits me now. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything I'm really An holding on? Answer. Is I really going to hold on to this for the next 15 pounds? Am I going to lose the weight? Am I going to lose or the weight? Or can I just say goodbye to this shirt? Or, <laughs> which is a good point. And that's a th- something to think about, wh- yeah. which is one of my mice points too. Like, I do, I do want to like lose a little bit of weight, get, the, get to sure. that point. But she's like, you're also going to lose like a little bit of weight. And then you're going to think like, well, I don't want to hold on to this stupid thing I've had for 10 years. I want to go shopping again. Mm. Like, I'm going to go get some new stuff now that I feel better about it. Whatever. Yeah. All that to say, it was like, Four days ago, I'm like, I'm gonna call my wardrobe. I'm gonna do it. I have a couple free days. I have my post already today. I'm good. I, I can spend like three hours today on it. Maybe a little bit of time tomorrow on it. Four days later, I've like gone through my t-shirts and pants, <laughs> and the stuff is like just getting transferred from spreading it all over the bed to where it's like, here's the stuff I need to go through. Here's the stuff I've gone through. Here's the stuff that are maybes, and then like. We have a call, or I got to go pick up the kids because I didn't get far enough, yeah. or I filmed and I took way too long to film. I didn't. I thought I was going to get something done faster. I took too long to film, and I edited, and then I'm editing and posting. And it's like the stuff sits on the bed. So then, then the kids get home from school, and I just move the stuff from the bed down to the floor again. It's like yeah. I'm in the same situation. I'm too careful about how I'm meticulous about how I go through it all. It just takes me so long. I don't understand how people get things done. I don't understand how going through t-shirts would take you three hours. Because I have a lot of awesome t-shirts. But you have to make a choice. Yeah. And you have three hours. Like how long? Well, I didn't start with the t-shirts. I needed my wife's help with the t-shirts. I, be- how long I you also say this. Standing like- there doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's three hours. I'm 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 really not good at like when there's a task. I'll admit this about myself. When there's a task like that, that's a big task. Uh-huh. It's so easy for me to feel lost because I don't know where to begin. Sure. That's normal. And I, that's a that's a problem. I struggle with that a lot. Where it's like I'm 100% motivated to do it, and I pull it all and organize it. Here's the T-shirts. I need to go through the T-shirts. I don't need this much workout gear. I don't need this many hooded sweatshirts. I'm not gonna I lose the 15 pounds if that's your attitude. <laughs> But it's like I, you know, I get to that point. It's like, great, I'm ready to start. I don't know where to begin, and then I kind of freeze. And so I'll, then yeah. I have to go ask my wife, like, can you please come help me? So huge credit to her. There's been a couple nights where we just like want like little one little thing at a time. Like one of the nights, like put the kids to bed. Uh-huh. We retired into the bedroom. Like put a sh- put a, some show on that we don't really care about. We don't have to pay attention too much. Like baking championship whatever uh-huh. you look over they're like that's pretty good i couldn't make that that's what's right what do you, you think, think about you don't these? care and then you're like yeah no but really it's like well, that's okay a good, that's a good here's cake. the things i really don't think i can get rid of at all here's the things i'm not sure about here's the two things i like don't want anymore and then like she helps me like talk through like why do you keep those well i i plead my case she's like those are too much like those other ones great get rid of them you know yeah she helps me go through it because i get to the point where i'm like I got to this point. I need help. I can't do this. Yeah. I need like, I need like, I need like queer eye to like, come help me. Like you got a lot of great stuff here. You don't need these things. You don't watch queer eye, do you? No. You see what they, you see they help. Yeah. I see who it's they not help. the guy with too many cool shirts. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> and that's part of the it's problem. Not, they, is don't, like, they don't go on the show and go, oh, this is the show for the people who are pretty much there. Yeah. I mean, that's probably, like once in a while it's like, you know, this is cool. I'm going to buy it. But usually I kind of like think about it and then yeah. I decide to buy something. And that's been over a long period of time. But because of that, I like have an extensive wardrobe that I love. Yeah. But it's still like, but well, when's the last time you wore that? And I'm not very good at that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, yeah but I like that. Well, when's the last time you wore it? It's like, yeah, but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> and like, that's where I get super stuck. And so I did the same thing I did with my daughter's room. That's amazing. Yeah, I really want to like, sp- I have the afternoon. I'm going to spend the afternoon doing this. And four days later, I'm like, I feel like I haven't made a dent. You just got to wait until you're in a f- pretty flippant attitude because I did it recently yeah. and my wife was like, went to put my laundry away and like looked and she was like, whoa. I was like in the room and she's like, where'd all your shirts go? And I was like, I got rid of them. She's like, that's a lot of shirts. I was like, man, I was just in a mood where I was just like, come on, man. Come on. Yeah. And the easiest thing is what's the, what's in the back of your shirt drawer? Those are the ones. I, I have, See ya. <laughs> I'm, I've, I've, been, I've been like this since I was a little kid where I can attach a memory to a physical object and it's very difficult for me to separate those two things. Like I got teased yep. as a kid because I had like this little box of things when I was a little kid yeah. of like memories and in that box it's called your brain. No, it's a physical box. 
uh, there was like a, I don't know. It's like a coin from something, a shell from a beach trip with my family, stuff like that. But like the one that sticks out to me the most was like, I don't even know why. I don't even remember why it was in there, but it was like one of my dog's toenails. Cause like we'd clip the dog's toenail and it was in there because I couldn't let go of it because my dog passed away when I was like, you know, 10 years old. Yeah. But it's like, if I throw that away, I'm throwing the memory away, which is not true. Yeah. But, and I'm better at that now. I don't keep stuff like that, but I've, I've grown since then, but I still attach, like I bought this t-shirt because my son sang in the rockin' for school uh, thing last year, or would they like have the kids band yeah. and they did an ACDC song. So my wife at Target bought me like an ACDC t-shirt because she saw it and she's like, you should wait, we could wear this. You could wear this to the show. Yeah. I've had that for a year. I've worn it twice. She's like, I was like, I, I, feel, I feel like I should get rid of this, but I can't do it. She's like, you should get rid of it. It's fine. You have yeah. the memory. And I was like, you're right. And so I got rid of it. But it was like that kind of stuff. Yeah. I I hold on to it way longer than I need to hold on to it. Yeah. Anyway, that's where I am. I'm still in the middle of it. I haven't gone through my jackets or my sweatshirts or my uh, dress shirts. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk to you in a month. We'll check back in on you in a month. We're not doing next podcast, that's oh, for sure. I just hate doing it. I wish I had like, can't we all just have a walk-in closet that's like a thousand square feet? I mean, my house isn't even that. Oh, you dummy. <laughs> you know what that what I know the answer is no. The answer is even if you did, you'd have too much stuff in I Yeah, I would months. never get rid of anything, and then it would still be pouring out. That's how it works. That's how it works, yeah. More space is not less problems. I'm doing my best, man, but it's my, I admit that, like, I, and it's feel good. it feels good. I did get, I got rid of a ton of stuff. It was like, you're right. I don't need this. But it was more so like there's probably still like 20% of it. I wish I could just be flippantly go through and just be yeah. like, no. You'll get there. No, no, no. I think I will. Yeah. Sometimes it maybe takes stages. Like this is the first stage. Yeah. And then I go to try to put it all away and it's like, ah, it still feels more full than I want it to be. Yeah. And sometimes I've done this before where I then do get to the point where I'm like, nah. Why did I have well, this? Isn't this, all the maybe pile needs to go away? And I just need to do it because I know six months from now, I'm not going to think, where's that one shirt that I that's never wore? That's what it wore? comes down to. That's you know, it down to. that's what it comes down to. I need to do a better job of that. But well, good luck. Dummy. Here we are. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's a good place to leave it. <laughs> if you guys have any dumb parent moments, you guys can uh, DM us. We are at the dumb dads. That's our handle on all platforms. Across uh, the board. Across the board. Or you can email us, dumbdadpod at gmail.com. Let us know yours. We didn't have time to read one on this podcast, but we'll read a couple on the next podcast. Uh, thanks so much, guys. Please rate and review this podcast on Apple Podcasts. It really helps get us out there to other parents. That's right. Other dummies who need the support. Not that other people make mistakes. I'm sure they don't. We just like to share ours with uh, our audience. Sure do. Uh, but we will. We'll read on the next one as well. We'll also read another review on the next podcast. Thanks to everyone on SoundCloud for the music for this podcast. And as That's always, right. to my incredible wife, Annie, for editing this podcast. Uh, do you have a joke? Oh, I have, I, have, I have a joke. Oh, you do? My son read it to me. Oh, great. Why is baseball... <sighs> I'm amending something. This has to be read for, with a Boston accent. Sure. For okay, it go for it. Why is baseball uh, like an art museum? Why? They both have pitches. <laughs> <laughs> he just read it to me, and, I, and my wife hated it because it's like pictures or pitchers. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, if you read it with a Boston accent, it works. But some people yeah. say pictures. Some people say pitches. About pictures, and yeah. it's like, oh, man. So if you do it with a Boston accent, though, it you works. You want to always. And they both got pitches. So bad. Uh, it's pitch a day. Pitchers. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been like looking to throw my pitchers. You're like, you're over you're over 10. You can't do that. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> it reminds me of a kid saying a joke. I heard one on uh, social media the other day. It was like a mom filming a kid. He was like literally holding a chicken. Yeah. Do you see this one? No. He goes, Mom. Why are chickens so funny? Why? She's because! It's great. It's because like four. I was like, that's a great joke. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. There you have it. Okay. Bye. Bye. Welcome to the world, little one. Welcome to life. How do I stop this? The Dumb Dad Podcast is proudly presented by Bet Online.